Come inside, little dove. It's getting late. Tell me what happened that night. Evelyn. You said you would tell me when I got older. It's my 18th summer already. I think it's high time I knew. I am Jade, Valkyrie Dragon. Please call me Jade. And this, my friends, is my pet dragon, Eisenberg V Dragon. And welcome to my channel where we play any game, good or bad. If there is a game you'd like to see me play, put it in the comment section down below. We're about to play Forever and Nemo. This game will be available in July or June, I think. I think it's June. It was pushed back. But I actually won it in a contest, believe it or not. Check this out. There we are. From Kisu Arts. I won it in March the 1st, so I have the full game. So when it does finally release, we will be playing the full game on the channel. I can't wait to play it and check it out with you guys. So for right now, we're going to play the demo. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's hit new game and start. Come inside, little dove. It's getting late. Tell me what happened that night. Evelyn. You said you would tell me when I got older. It's my 18th summer already. I think it's high time I knew. I know, dear. It's not easy for me to talk about. Tell me what happened to my father. What did happen? Come inside. I'll tell you everything. It was just like any other night at the circus. We were preparing for a performance with Auron. Everything was fine until those men attacked the camp. They came running out of the woods without warning. We were defenseless. Hannah! Take Evelyn and run! Whoa, no! Your father tried to fight them back, giving us enough time to escape. I remember the man who Oran was fighting. His black, full plate armor and great sword were more than a match for him. The last thing I remember was how I... I... I still have nightmares of that day. It's okay, Mom. Calm down. That's enough. I'm sorry, little Duff. We should head to bed. It's a big day tomorrow. Sleep well, little Duff. That's so cute. I should call her little Duff. You too, Mom. Darling, are you okay? You look distressed. Thank you for taking us in, Edwin. You've been saying that every night for the last ten years, darling. And, as always, you're welcome. It's the least I could have done. 
Chapter One Echoes from the Past. Why the hell you doing the voice acting? Now I have to read. Okay. Oh, I must have slept in. I guess Elwyn didn't want to wake me up. Well, better get ready for the day. Johan, I love her name. All right, to tutor of voice time. <clears throat> Moving around with W, A, S, D, control. Keys. <laughs> oh, shift to run. Capital lock to talk run. Point and click to interact with objects. Move. Uh, what, what was that? Okay, mouse click. Or spacebar to advance conversation. Indicating I main go S will be the yellow. Exclamation mark. Indicating a side quest will be green. You have it? Let's continue. At our bottom of our map, Mouse over the bottom of the screen shows the inventory. So our bottom box down here is our inventory, which is currently blank. Travel is only available in. Okay, we have our traveling. Let me explore more areas, of course. But this is just a demo. We have our map. I wonder what the little weapon icon is. And the notebook is probably left the menu. All right. Oh, more stuff popped up. What is this? Gods of... I have to read stuff? Wow! Oh, yes! Okay, I'm already liking this. I guess you're expecting me to read this right. Hmm? What? You want me to read this? I don't know. It's kind of long. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to read it. Gods of Aura by A.A.B. Valdenur Supreme Gods Multiple Gods are being worshipped in Aura the first of them was Valo, the god of light, life, and creation. It was them who was born out of nothingness and created the world. Symbol of Valo is a shining star. Greater identities out from the ground. Eden was born, the goddess of earth, growth, and strength. She created the mountains and the islands. The symbol of Eden is a rose. Out of the sea, Halcyon was born, the goddess of water, wealth, and the flow of time. She created the flow of water and time that kept the world alive. The symbol of Halcyon is a three spiral in a triangular form we 
we have more to read? Okay, let me start breaking out of character. Okay, we're gonna finish this. All right, sorry guys, I had to get me a water in between. Here we go. Out from the sky, Celestis was born, the goddess of air, weather, and the moon. She created the atmosphere, making the air breathable, and the moon bring light to the night. The symbol of Celestia is the moon. Out from the depths of the planet Nyx was born, the goddess of night, darkness, and death. She created the shadows. The symbol of Nyx is a black mask. Out from the volcano. Azar was born, the goddess of fire, forging, and judgment. She gave fire to man. The symbol of Azar is a hammer. Out from Mimira that fell from the ground, Amun was born, the goddess of destruction, war, and apocalypse. She brings with her the scar and disease amongst the people of Ara. Symbol of Amand is an evil eye. Oh, we have one more. It is said that the gods of Ara walked the lands before humans came. None of this can be proven, but some believe that the final resting place of these mortal forms can be found somewhere in Aura. Well, I can't click that. I could click my inventory. What's this? Golden grounds? What? I have golden grounds? Result. A gradient zimbatale crafting. I don't know what to do with any of this, but we're just gonna let it slide. Johan. Level one. Resolve one. Fitness one. Social one. Renown zero. Okay. I'm just seeing what all we have. I'm gonna I'm move on with the quest. Don't st tell me to stop reading stuff. Hang on. I love joking with you guys. Activity objective. A gift for Evelyn. A gift for Evelyn. Activity. It is Evelyn's birthday. Oh, I, I should read it in her voice because she says I have to. Okay. Let me take it from job. <laughs> Let's take that back. Okay, let me hear the beeps again. Boop, boop, boop. All right, okay. A gift for Evelyn. It's Evelyn's birthday. I have to go to the market and try to find a gift for my daughter. In the evening, a group of suitors will arrive to ask for a hand find a gift for Evelyn so does not my daughter you ain't take my daughter hand 
I want to see these suitors personally and see each one of them. Now take my Evelyn away from me. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm speaking as me, not 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 Johanna. Okay. Let's check out our room. But no, um, definitely want to check out the suitors just to make sure. Um, you know, she's not marrying Rome. The dog. Hmm. Oh, this is a nice house. Look at the pictures, flowers. Door. I don't knock on doors. I enter because this is um, where I stay. A chest. I can't open it. Oh, I don't know if I want a candle. Don't get me wrong, I know you need candlelight, but I don't know if I want it over my bed. Ooh, bookshelf. I love reading, so this was be a must for me. Mm -hmm. Love plants. Anybody home, Evelyn? Where did that girl go? Hmm. All the doors seem to be open. Who's sleeping in all these rooms? Ooh, someone made up their bed. Okay, let's head to the next door. I need to leave, but I want to look through rooms. Ah, oh, this is storage. Hmm. That red wine looks nice. I may make drink some for later. Hmm. The blue and green would make a nice dress. Another chess. Whoever I have for this is have very good style. A rash rack with a water in it. Someone really needs to empty this out. Please don't leave your wash rag in the room. I'm not gonna head upstairs just yet. Instead, I'm gonna head downstairs. Let's see. Hmm. Have plenty of firewood. That is good looking sword. Someone is quite the blacksmith. Get good practice down here. Okay. There's nothing for me down here, so I must head upstairs. Good morning, dear. Ready for the big day? Almost. I still have to find a gift for Evelyn. She's growing up so fast. Oh, good luck with that. Those younglings can be so demanding these days. <laughs> well, I better head to the market and try to find something fitting. I pray she chooses one of the suitors for herself. I just want to see her happy. I pray that she choose one of the suitors, but choose rightly. I know. But that's her choice. Mm -hmm. She can deny them all if she so wishes. Remind me again how all this works? I know the noble traditions may be a bit confusing, but each year after her 18th summer, on her birthday, admirers from noble families can ask for her hand. What if she doesn't choose anyone? Do we really have to do this every year? I'm guessing yes. Until she chooses someone, yes. That's what you get for marrying into a noble family. Sorry. Oh, let me adjust my chair. My back is hurting and it's on the wrong position. Sorry about the noise. Oh, that feels better. Nope. No, I don't. Oh, that feels better. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me 
on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's too far back. I can't reach the mic. <sighs> All right, pull that down. All right, I'm good to go. Okay, I feel much better now. Let's see. Oh, Edwin, you silly goose. Well, I better get going. I don't want to get stuck in the midday crowd. I love her. <laughs> silly goose. <laughs> get her something nice. I will. See you later, honey. Alright. You guys are so cute. Okay. Green Army side quest. Oh no. Lovely hats. see you with your green exclamation mark but you're going to have to wait I'm gonna walk around my house oops I'm outside <laughs> hang on I need to go make it out I should head to the marketplace to find something for Evelyn She's old enough now, so I think of something she could protect herself with. Good idea. Little Dove need to protect herself. Alright. Oh, I thought you was gonna say this part! I gotta read this! All right. No hurries. Ha. Huh. Same old, same old. I do have a little bit of a problem, though. Oh? How was that? I haven't been able to pay my rent. My landlord is breathing down my neck. Could you do something about that? I'm not paying your rent, man. I've dealt with him before. I should do it again. Not to worry. She, I like the look on her face. She got that serious look. Like, yeah, I know you're talking about. I've dealt with that person before. Not to worry, Percival. I got your back. Thank you, Johan. It means a lot. He's probably hanging around the market. I'm going that way. What a coincidence. I should head there now. Oh wait, no, I'm not I'm I'm going the wrong way. Honey, I'm going to the market to pick up the present for Evelyn. Love you. Market. Oh, which way is the market? That's definitely not the market. That's a bale of hay. I definitely can't go that way. Oh, can I? Go back home. I want to see what's on the opposite side. I like the map. I really like the graphics. The graphics are nice. Gives me that old RPG feel. I love that. The music is beautiful. Oh, that just made it even more better. I love music. Let's take a second and listen.
That's good music. It's probably partially because I play musical instruments, so for me, I listen to each instrument separately as it's playing, and it makes it sound even more beautiful. Since I um, play guitar, keyboard, clarinet, I don't play flute anymore. Oh, violin too, I forgot. The Dark. Wait, this map is named Morningstar? Awesome! Siva Lake, I like that. The Dark. I know I have to go to the market, but could I check out any other places? I'm just curious. Traveling. Oh, I was like, where am I? My game just errored. Wait, no, it bounced back. It bounced back. She's moving by herself. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Game was like, no, no, you're not supposed to go this way. Error, 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 error. What are you doing? Carry your butt to the market. <laughs> Sorry, I, I need to go to the market. If this game glitches again. Get my butt to the market. Not risking it. I wanted to see how the other places look though, but. Mission accomplished. Let me finish this one.